minutes is too long and cannot be allowed. I shall assign only 15 minutes. After the contaminant is done, he said we'll have five minutes each for a very brief submission. So, Mr. Miller, you you can proceed. So, do you wish to adopt the contents of your affidavit? Yes, my lord. Now, <coughs> just look at paragraph two of your affidavit. You were convicted for what in particular? What was what was it that led to the conviction? Contempt of court, my lord. For failing to do what? For failing to comply with God. Her past covers to do that accustomed and for my lord. Okay. And that was an order to present in court? Yes, my lord. The petition number two, three, and four? Yes, my lord. Okay. Now, let's go to paragraph 16. The matter came up for mention on 26th of August, 2024. Where were you on the 26th of August, 2024? My Lord, on that particular day I was in Coast Province, I was in Mombasa, Lamu, and Boni Enclave, my Lord. Okay. Now, look at paragraph 18. You are supposed to appear in court on the 29th of August, 2024. Paragraph 18. Yes, my lord. Can you tell the court where you are on the 29th of August, 2024? I was... At Mpegetoni and the Bonnie Enclave, as at large, those areas of Fuluko, my lord. Okay. On the 3rd of September 2024, that's on paragraph 19. Did you send a representative to court? Yes, my lord. Who did you send? I, my, representative, my representative, my legal, Mr. Otiende, my lord. Okay. And where were you on the 3rd of September, 2024? On that very day, my lord, I was still on those borders of Kenya Somalia border, Adishakani and Bonn Enclave. Okay. Let's go to paragraph 21. Where were you on the 4th of September 2024? On this particular day, my lord, I was en route to the northern Kenya, part of Kenya, my lord. Then you are supposed to attend court on the 5th of September, 2024. That's paragraph 22. 
Where were you on the 5th of September 2024? On this particular date, my lord, I was in Mandera, that is northeastern region, and I had also sent my director legal, Mr. Otiende, to represent me, my lord. Now, on the 9th of September, you were supposed to be in court personally. Can you tell this court where you are? Paragraph 24. My Lord... Still on this date, I was still in northeastern and particularly in Wajia, those areas of Huluko, Korfarar, and Konton, my lord. Huluko? Huluko, Korfarar, <coughs> Konton, Korfarar. Huluko? Korfarar, Konton, Korfarar, and where And Karsa. That is paragraph 24. My Lord, may I proceed? I just wanted to see those areas. You said paragraph 24. <coughs> yes. yeah, paragraph, we're referring to paragraph 24 and 25. Those areas are not mentioned. Yes. Yes, but he was meant to be in court, my Lord. Oh, he's on oath anyway. Yes, proceed. he's on oath and he's meant to be in court. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the last area is Ulgo Korofan and Wales. Karsa, Karsa, my Lord. Those are FOBs, the forward operating bases for the officers. Okay. in the northeastern my lord all right then you are sentenced on the 13th of september when you were meant to be in court can you indicate to the court where you are then on the 13th of september 2024 on that very day my lord i was still on my way now downwards because from wajia we had to come back to those sites of karisa and in Carissa, we had to traverse to those forward operating places of our officers, like in Wilmerer and Fafi, my lord. Now, was your failure to come to court deliberate or a deliberate act of lack of respect for the court? My Lord, it was not a deliberate failure because I had also requested my assistant to come and represent me and the legal officer to do the same, my Lord. Now, This petition relates to missing persons who are petitioner number two, three, and four, Bob Njagi, Jamil Longton, and Aslam Longton. Yes, my lord. Have they been in police custody at all? My lord, they have not been in police custody, and I just learned this morning from have you that they've been found, my lord? So you you learn from who that they've been found? From <laughs> President Retired <laughs> Emeritus LSK Harvey. So you learn from who? I learned from the emulator as LSK President Harvey. I don't want to <laughs> so, Sorry, just a minute. I just want to capture what you are saying. You learned that those people have been what? I learned that those people have been found from Harvey, my okay. lord. Oh, this morning? This morning. All right, thank you. And how did you learn? Where did he say it? He said it before this court, my lord. Okay.
did he describe the condition in which they are? I did not get it clear, my lord. Okay. So, now that we are here... Just a minute, Sorry, Mr. Robert. Miller, because now that is coming from him, what he has heard from Mr. Harvey. Yes. Mr. Harvey, is that factual what you told the court? Is it factual? I just wanted, yes, let me find out because you said it in your submissions. So I just wanted also to find out whether it is factual. Yes, it's true. All right. I stated in court that uh, they are reported and released. All right. The report was made by the President of the North Side. All right, thank you. I think that's you enough. You alarm everybody that the President of the North Side opinion knows that these people are released. All right. <laughs> All right. Proceed. My Lord, perhaps you can also tell the court uh, the condition in which they are. No. Mila, <laughs> <laughs> proceed. Thank you, my Lord. <laughs> now that we are in this situation, um, what would you like to tell the court? My Lord, I want to thank you for the opportunity you have accorded me to start before you. Before I say anything, my Lord, I would like to apologize to the Lordship and the judiciary for the events that have transpired leading to the orders of this court. My Lord, I respect you and all our gods for the good work that you do to uphold the rule of law. As a police officer, it is my duty to enforce court orders and ensure that court orders are obeyed. I pray, my Lord, that this court accepts my apology, vacates conviction and sentence, so I pray, my Lord. Okay, that's all, my Lord. From the respondent side, would we, any one of you have any question for the Inspector General? My, my, my Lord, I was asked to hold uh, Mr. General's brief. Mr. Bitter, do you have any questions for him? No, I just want to be So, Mr. Bitter. I'm holding Mr. General's brief. This is a courtroom. We would want everybody to be satisfied with these proceedings. From the respondent side, does any one of you have any question for the Inspector General? All right. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. So, Mr. Kitonga Muruga. Solicitor General, Mr. Shanta. Now, Mr. Nelson Avi, you have strictly 15 minutes, which you must utilize well. My, my court assistant will keep time. Uh, these three Kenyans 
Bob Michele Jaggi, Jamil Longton, and Asma Longton. You know them? I don't know them, my lord. When did you come to here? I heard of them when it was reported at Kitengela and the signal was circulated by the OCS to all OCS in Kenya of the missing person, my lord. How long ago was that? The date you've mentioned, my lord. Pardon? The date you've just mentioned, my lord. Yeah. That was on the 19th August. August, my lord. The Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Between 19th of August and May, how many days are those? Around one month, my lord. Around one month. What efforts, if any, have been made by the National Police Service to test this thing? My lord, immediately it was reported. <coughs> the signal was sent throughout the country to all OCS. The investigation was opened and started immediately and still is live. The investigation is on. Just we appealed to the public also to assist us on where they could be found, my lord. Do you have any report preliminary or finding as far as those investigations are concerned? Come on, Ken, my lord. Do you have any report, preliminary or final, insofar as the investigations are concerned?